with the Ron and Fez show on a Friday, hanging out. Ron Bennington, Fez Wally with you. Stalker Patty sitting in with us. Uh, KOP was just telling me during the break, he thinks that this, uh, he said that this Redskins season is going to be as bad as everyone in the last 10 years. And he goes, mark my words on this. When Joe Gibbs is going to get carried out on his shield, he's going to leave a failure. I said to him, no way, my friend. All right, I've got his words, and I am officially marking them. <laughs> You've then, been marked. Then I uh, write his name down and strike a line through it, Fez, because he's on my list. Did I KOP? Now you're in the book. And then tell uh, Polo's wife that me and you live at his house. <laughs> I'll find out where they are. That may have been the scariest thing I've heard in a long time. I'm going to try to go to sleep tonight. I'm going to think about a crazy woman with a big fork coming after me. It was like the Martha Stewart speech. I will be back. <laughs> She's an insane one. All right, Fezzy, the new Spin magazine is out, you would tell me, and they've got another poll. For some reason, magazines no longer write articles. They write lists. Yeah, why is that? You know why? Because it's easy to follow along. Instead of reading. <laughs> reading is so difficult now that we need lists. Exactly. It's it's one line per it's one sentence per line. I right, this is the fifty greatest rock frontmen of all time. Now I gotta tell you I disagree with the list already and I'll give you an example. Number six is Elvis Presley. KOP, I know you like the rock as much as I do, right? Here's my thing. I say he's not a front man, he's a solo artist. It's a it's a different thing from saying that you're a, a front man. And the number one front man uh, on this list is a solo artist. That annoys me. Yeah, because it's, that's, I mean, they're actually cheating because they already are the front man. They're the man. They're beyond the front man. Yeah, the front, to me, the front man is this. You have a band, but you're the one out there uh, that everybody's looking, like, looking at. I'll give an example. So I won't ruin this if we run a contest on it, because I doubt anybody would bring this up. But Jay Giles back in the day was all Peter Wolf, all over the place, talking to the audience, singing. He was kind of the star of the band. And yet, you know, not everybody, you know, a lot of people in the crowd or whatever thought that his name was Jay Giles. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll give out some of the tickets this way, Fez. 866-277-4969, 866-277-4969. If we think that somebody should be in the top ten, we'll send you into the big-ass prize closet. And we got four packs of tickets to see Collateral with Tom Cruise and Jamie Foxx. It's an exclusive screening of the movie on August 5th from AOL for Broadband. All right, 866-277-4969. All right, Peter. Peter, who yeah. should be on this uh, list of the greatest frontmen of rock and roll? Oh, uh, the Rolling Stones. The Rolling Stones? Yeah. That's not a frontman, my friend. The Rolling Stones is oh, a band. Oh, Mick, Mick Jagger. Mick Jagger, not only do I think he should be on the list, Fezzy, I would think that he would be number one on the list. On this list, he came in at number two. All right, so you're going to go into the big-ass prize closet, my friend. But, you know, you look at some of this stuff, and you say to yourself, do these people... I mean, this is a music magazine. And all of us here kind of agree that a front man should not be a, 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 a solo artist. You're just counting the, the backup bands for a lot of these? Yeah, I mean, I no. What I'm trying to say is this. Or, or what are you saying? Like in a Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band? Boy, that's a difficult one. I would say, yeah, Bruce is probably the front man of the E Street Band. And I'll give you an example why. When he's not with the E Street Band... He's not exactly Bruce Springsteen in terms of what people want to see. Like, if he goes out with the E Street Band, he's playing stadiums. If he goes out as Bruce Springsteen, the solo artist, he's playing two, 3,000 seaters. So I say the E Street Band is a, is a real band. In most cases, uh, I, like uh, Rod Stewart and the Faces, no, come on, that's Rod Stewart. Yeah, I don't include the faces as part of that. Yeah, if you're if you go into a show and the ticket just has the one guy's name on it, you know, that's pretty much shows you he's not fronting a band. He is the solo artist. Here is uh Sarah. Sarah, you're a Ramona Fez. Hi, yes, I um wanted to nominate Bono of you two. 
Bono came in at tenth on this list. But I am in the top ten. And I think it should have been higher, Fez, for Bono. Uh, huge performer, huge uh, band, and has been for 20 years. Yeah, you're going to pick up the ticket, Sarah. You know, when you're like Bono, he's actually the personality of that band. You know, you look at Bono and you go, oh, okay, that's you two. Now, see, I disagree with you. I don't know if, you, if Bono would draw so well going out on his own. But when you look at you two, he is the big front man. There's no doubt about it. But, I mean, he's never attempted the solo album, the solo tour. And I don't know how well it would do. I mean, look at Jagger when he went out on his own. Did not do well with it. Did not do well drawing. Did not do well selling albums. And he's uh, tried it quite a few times. Here is uh, Bill. Bill, you're on Run Fez. How are you doing, guys? Yeah. Hey, how, how about Paul McCartney in his Beatles years? Paul McCartney was, I would say, was not the front man of the Beatles. I don't think the Beatles had that one center guy who you would call the front man. No, no, because it would be, you know, it would be between McCartney and Lennon, and then the other guys, you know, they always got their singles, too. Yeah, but still, even like if you went to see that group, you would not just be looking at one person. And there's a lot of bands that way, you know, whether it's a Steely Dan or a Pink Floyd. That whole thing is just a band that you would basically say without a real front man. Mike, Mike, you're on a Fez. Hey, I got two for you guys. Yeah. Gene Simmons and Steve Ty Steven Tyler. Uh, Gene St Simmons, and you only get to do one, so we'll go with uh, Gene Simmons. I'd say no, he's not the front man. He doesn't sing. Uh, it's the same thing with it's the Beatles thing. You just yeah. Uh, overall, you're looking at a band. Him and Paul Stanley. Yeah, and it's him and Paul Stanley, and uh, even with Paul Stanley, I don't think he's enough of the solo on the stage in terms of it be considered the front man. He's got the biggest tongue, but he's not on the spin list. Let me uh, check with uh, Stalker Patty on this. Patty, what do you think? Um, I agree with you. Good. If you don't agree, I want you to let me know. Sure. So you don't like flying in planes at all? I love flying in planes. Oh, I don't think we got that out. <laughs> Here is uh, Paul. Paul, you're on a fez. Hey, buddy. Yeah. I think uh, Robert Plant most definitely is number one front man of rock bands. Robert Plant as the front man, I say, yeah, you got to go into the big-ass prize closet for that one. And he, oh, comes right. in, and he comes in at number three on the spin list. Yeah. He comes in at number three on your list. I say closer to number one in your heart, though. Um, Brian, Brian, you're on a fez. Hey, buddy. Hey, I was, I was thinking about Black Sabbath with Ozzy. Ozzy. Ozzy, <laughs> are you going to agree with that one, Patty? I, I love Ozzy. Now, here's the problem, though. They had some success when they replaced Ozzy. Ronnie oh, James come Dio. Come on, those tours drew well and those albums sold well. Yeah. Yeah, I guess. But, uh,. But no one had the spirit of Ozzy, though, when he was in the band. I now, you know, he's doing the, the tour by himself, you know. Yeah, all right, I'll give you Ozzy. Ozzy. i got to give you Ozzy. I like the fact that Ozzy is in trouble with the Bush White House now. Uh, part of this tour that he uh, put out there, he uh, he put a picture of, you know how they have the kind of video screen behind Ozzy when he records and he has Hitler pictures and George Bush pictures <laughs> back and forth next to each other. And then there's, uh, it just says about the two of them, same ass, different a-holes. So, he, now Ozzy was invited to that thing where George Bush was so nice to him. And what does he do as soon as he gets the chance? That's right, he was invited to the big press dinner. Good thing Ozzy isn't endorsing Slim Fast. So, Fezzi, are you, uh, this weekend, Ozfest is in town. Are you in Stalker Patty? That wasn't on the yeah, agenda, K.O.B. They, 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 what, where is it at? Uh, Nissan. What do you think, Fezzi? You and Stalker Patty. It's actually Black Sabbath. Oh, that would Farewell. be great. Hey, is who's going? Is anybody from the station going to that uh, Dubs? Um, not that I know of. Okay. But I, I'm sure we can get a pair of tickets. I want you to look around and see if you can't find a Patty a ticket if anybody's going. Patty would love to go along, right, Patty? Yeah. Yeah. I just don't want to walk into Ozfest with Ozzy on my arm. <laughs> <laughs> Chapin, are you going to this? Uh, yeah, I got tickets today, actually. Would you like to take uh, Patty along with you? She's more than welcome to come, man. No problem. Love it. All right. We'll talk about that later. Make sure...
See if we can't find tickets for Patty. And then that, and this also means this, Chapin. I don't want you trying anything. I know you got a reputation as a player. Yeah, you know, you know. And watch out for her in that crowd. She's got bad feet. Patty is a nice girl from a nice family. Nice girl, nice family. She's a hooker. But seriously, <laughs> I want you to look into that, Chapin. What are you doing going to see Ozzy? Uh, I got judged. How old are you, 14? <laughs> no, 22. I went last year, too. It was, uh, it was really pathetic, actually, so I thought I was going to go check it out again. Maybe it's going to be better. I, I don't understand Judas. him. Well, it would only get better with age, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, Judas Priest is finally back together, so I was going to go check them out. There you go. Uh, here is Nicole. Nicole, you're on Ron and Fez. Uh, yeah, Dave Matthews Band. And what's the name of the band? Dave Matthews Band. So how's he a front man? It's his band. I know it's his band, but yeah. he's like awesome. And he's a great front man. All the rest of the... All the rest of the musicians can hold just, their own also. Just sit there and play. <laughs> They're awesome. No one ever <laughs> steps in front of the guy whose name is on the marquee. No, honey. He's basically uh, a solo artist. Let's face it. Let's face it. It's his band. It's his whole thing. Jeremy, you're on Ron and Fez. Hey, Ron. Hey, Fez. Yeah. Hey, Stalker Patty. Hi. Uh, Hi, James Stalker Hedfield. Patty. James Hetfield Metallica. James Hetfield, Metallica, a real front man, and I can't wait to see the Some Kind of Monster documentary. I like a good movie. Uh, yeah, let me check on KOP on that. Are you, you going to go to this doc? I haven't decided yet. I like the fact that you have these guys that are the the big badass metal band of the last 20 years. They're whining. Basically falling apart <laughs> in family counseling. In front of the world. Screaming in each other's faces like it's Mr. and Mrs. Paul Lowe. Yeah. Well, I mean, screaming I could take. That's rock and roll. Mick and Keith punching each other in a girl fight. That's rock and roll. But when you see these guys sitting in a circle going, I'm not sure if you understand what I mean from my position. I don't get it at all. Finally, after 20 years, I understand you. Yeah. You know, for so much of the time, I just felt like the drummer. Yes, because you are just the drummer, and you're lucky to be in this band. What are those things in your hands? Oven mitts? No, they're drumsticks. <laughs> and Metallica boys not making the spin list. I don't care what they say. They got Elvis in there, and he's a solo artist. <laughs> and look who they got as number 18, Courtney Hole. And that's embarrassing. It's the one who gets taken out on the stretcher the most, I guess. <laughs> hey, you keep playing this back, and everybody in Baltimore is going to think Lycus is back. Jordanaires. The Jordanaires. Well, you're a little older than us. You're before our time. Uh, no one remembers his doo wop back up, uh, butch haircut kids. <laughs> She's before Moses' time. No, not that far. No, you're the one playing with it tonight. She's on my pit group. <laughs> Is that what you call it now? No. Is that the new slang with the kids? Not that kind of group. Taking your PG, are you? PG 13. Here is uh, Ron. Ron, you're on Fez. Hey, what's up, buddy? Yeah. Hey, I'm going to switch mine up because it's, uh, you know, kind just of his name. No, so. just say it. Go ahead. Oh, come on. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, uh, I was going to go with Jimi Hendrix, you know, yeah. the experience, but... Yeah, that doesn't work. Uh, Jimi Hendrix, it's, you know, he's the left-handed god. I'm not going to lie to you about that one, Fez. There is no experience, but he came in fifth on the spin list. Yeah, well, he doesn't come in on our list. I'm sorry. Even though if you were calling the spin show, you'd be getting the tickets. <laughs> Not on our show. Uh, Steve. Steve, you're on Ronnie Fez. Hey, how you guys doing? Yeah. I have Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Okay, here's interesting. Great songwriter. Great singer. Would you consider him a big front man? No. I don't. He's pretty shy. Yeah, I don't consider him the big front man. I really don't. Here's uh, Craig, you're on Fez. Hey, buddy. Hey, my buddy. How about uh, Jerry Garcia, Grateful Dead? Jerry Garcia? No. Not a front man. Matter of fact, rarely moved. Or, uh, here's another thing. You know that a front man is just not going to be wearing a colored T-shirt most of the time. <laughs> Looking for the brightest guy out there. Here's uh, Scott. You're on a Fez. Uh, Steve Perry with Journey. Yeah, that's why they got a, a, a Steve Perry lookalike who's doing just as well as him. <laughs> 
<laughs> I don't see Steve Perry on the spin list that he wears. Jeez, I wonder why, Fez. Brandon, you're on a run of Fez. Hey, boys. Uh, what about Perry Farrell? What about him? A uh, great front man. He is a great front man. Uh, best ever? I don't know if he's the best ever, but he is a great front man. I'm going to say, yeah, you're going to pick up tickets for that one. All right, boy. Perry you. Farrell belongs in there. And he comes in at number 14. Number 14. On the Spin Magazine list, uh, 50 best front men. But look, if you start taking out the David Bowies, the Elvis Presleys, the Jimi Hendrix, and I'll, we'll just tell you right now who finished first for them, Prince. Prince was number one. Now, honestly, if I looked at this list, Prince is probably the best performer over Mick Jagger and Robert Plant. But I don't see where he's the front man for the revolution or the family or whatever he's calling his band this week. Uh, John, you're on Run of Fez. Hey, what's up, guys? Great yeah. show. Yeah, it is. Hey, uh, we got uh, George Clinton of Parliament Funkadelic. Now, you know I'm a huge, huge fan of P-Funk, but I will tell you this. The great uh, front man should not disappear for half the show up to three quarters while he's smoking crack, and I'm looking at one of the roadies sing. But how many other people do you know in the band? Uh, I don't know any of them, i got to tell you. Well, isn't he a great front man? Not then? since uh, Bootsy Collins, yeah, I guess. And the Bride of Funkenstein. And I do always know the guy in, his, uh, in the diaper and the, <laughs> the guy with the umbrella. But I, I just, I can't give him the front man thing because he goes away too much. They'll play for an hour and a half before he shows, and then he'll disappear 15 minutes after that. Yeah, he disappears a lot. Here's uh, Van, your amount of Fez. Yeah, what about Ray Davies from the Kings? Uh, here's my problem with Ray Davies, who I also think belongs in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Great songwriter. But he could walk through the mall and nobody would yell, hey, there's Ray Davies from the Kings. <laughs> so you're not a big showman if you can walk through the concert probably right after it. Ray Davies not making the spin list. Doesn't belong on it. Not even for a list as dumb as theirs. Here's uh, Davey, or Manifest. Hey, buddy. Hey, my buddy. Uh, how about the Lizard King, Jim Morrison, of the Doors? The Lizard King, Jim Morrison, of the Doors. Yeah, he definitely belongs hey. there. As a matter of fact, he was one of the real first big fans right. into a band. So ring that cowbell. We do got a little Jim Morrison happening. Chapin, how's this uh, working out with uh, the Ozfest ticket? You had any luck yet? I got him, man. Well, we were good to go. You got an extra one for her? Yeah, yeah. How, what were you going to do with it? Well, I, I bought six today, and I was hoping uh, to sort of talk my friends into coming, but I haven't told them yet, so. Oh, so you definitely have one for Patty? Yeah, no problem. Oh, that's terrific. Very nice. Fezzy? You excited, Patty? Yeah. Fezzy, you in? I thought it was the boy from Oz, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I was a little disappointed when I found out what the ticket said. All right, what, what time is that show? Uh, I think it's all day Sunday. I don't know if I'm going to go. Oh, out she's leaving on Sunday. 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh, are you serious? Flight. Yeah. yeah. Oh, are you taking a flight or are you taking a bus back? A flight. Oh, the okay. But you hate flying. Love flying. <laughs> well, Fezzy, no, that's uh, Sunday. You're, you, Fezzy, you're getting our, off at what time? Uh, we got to be at the airport by 5.30 a.m. on my day off, so that's just <laughs> that's just damn dandy. If I know you two, you'll be up all night. <laughs> nah. <laughs> We'll get sleep. Is there any chance? Whoa. No. Oh. Patty, your tongue. <laughs> Is there any chance uh, Black Sabbath will go on at, let's say, 3 in the morning uh, on Sunday? <laughs> Probably not. Last year they, they, they started about 10 o'clock, I think. All right, I heard a weird Damn. I heard a weird story about Ozzy. Tell me whether this is true or not, if anybody knows. All right, you know how at the shows he's always pouring water on himself? Right. I heard that's because his has he has such bladder problems that he would be leaving the stage all the time, so he gets completely wet, so no one can tell when he relieves himself. I don't know if that's true, but I would completely believe it. Yeah. <clears throat> Anyone who stands on his tiptoes and breaks his ankle, I'm sure has that much trouble with his body. Did he really break his ankle by standing on his tiptoes? Yeah, that was like a couple seasons ago. He tried jumping. And, I mean... He, On stage? Yeah, and he barely left the ground and just shattered the ankle. I mean, he couldn't have been a half an inch off of the stage. Well, you know, when you've got uh, ankles made out of crystal meth, it's very, very difficult. <laughs> the crystals will shatter. 
<laughs> it's not easy. Well, we almost had you go Nas for us, Patty, but uh, oh, wow. you would have to take a taxi home. And I know you're looking forward to your flight. Oh, yeah. yeah. Going continental. Ooh, European. <laughs> yeah, they had my friend got me down on United Airlines. Yeah. They have me going home on Continental. Fez, why don't you make her a very early morning Continental breakfast? <laughs> I'll throw a half a grapefruit at her as she's going out the door. You know what? I I, I might get up and go and just kind of spy on you guys at the airport. I was just going to look at the end of Casablanca when Fez is telling her to go back to New York. <laughs> You're getting on that plane, Patty. Or you'll regret it. Maybe not today. Maybe not th tomorrow, but soon and for the rest of your life. I'm not even going to wait for her to check in. Just to make sure that this continental <laughs> flight actually exists. That it's on the schedule. Do me a favor. You better at least stop. I don't want you doing the open door of the truck. Shove her out like you did with your brother Corky. <laughs> that would be assuming she's not riding in the bed. That she's actually inside the cab. All right, I've got emails and IMs at Ron and Fez at AOL.com uh, backing up the pouring water all over Ozzy so he can relieve himself stories. I'm surprised he wasn't doing it in the kitchen scenes there on the Osborne show. So he just didn't have to leave the room. When he, uh. when he started his painting hobby. All right, now I'll have Fez said, a friend of his who uh, went to the Osborne mansion said that Ozzy has a special bathroom where the walls are lined with rubber because his aim is so bad. So it's going to bounce back? <laughs> or I guess it's just easy to clean. Yeah. He's literally in a, in a depends room. And they worry about what the pets do on that show. That's why I think they don't really have a stank problem because they already have... Daddy Osborne. Yeah, if it wasn't Matilda, the British bulldog or whatever, running around uh, and uh, leaving him, leaving treats on the carpet, it would be Ozzy. <laughs> All right, we're going to take a break. Uh, we'll be right back. Uh, it's uh, Ron and Fez.